Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is Ninth Legion. Let's play some more of the Witcher 3 Blood and Wine expansion. So, we managed to clear out these ruins of the old uh, prison, I think this was. This was an old prison. Um, we fought an Alp here. She was guarding some treasure. She was a very tough fight. And apparently, I missed a bunch of loot. Let me just grab that. Ooh, amateur weapon repair kit. Not bad. And some stuff. Um, now, my plan is to get out of here before she comes back. She was a higher level than us. And I think we kind of need to go on with some quests rather than just wandering around the countryside right now. Um, so we're going to head off and do one of our actual Witcher contracts. We haven't actually done a Witcher contract since we arrived here. So we need to go and talk to Count Belladal, who is all the way on the other side of that lake. Now I did want to have a look at this lake, so I'm tempted just to run down there and take a gander, see what's around, and then we'll go find this Count Belladal. He's looking for someone to help him hunt some big game. Which I'm pretty much okay with, as long as he's willing to pay for it. Um, I don't think we're going to need Roach for this, we just want to go downhill. In fact, we want to go cross-country a bit, really. Uh, can I see anything, hor any horrific monsters with my Witcher Centers around? No. Okay, that's nice. Just so I don't run face-first into something really bad. Don't want to run straight through these trees, though, because my visibility will obviously suck. Let's see, can I come down this way? It looks all peaceful and quiet. I like that. Now, I want to get onto that island. Uh, there doesn't appear to be anything up there. Which, uh, does surprise me. I was kind of expecting this place to be crawling with drowners or something. I wonder if I can get onto that little island. I mean, the reason I want to get on that little island is because the little island appears to have a, a lake and an island on it in itself. Which is rather cool. I just kind of like that. I just want to see it. Yeah, there's low ground on this side of it. Can I get up that side? And is there anything around here? No. Okay, let's go for a swim, shall we? Interesting. Those look like some kind of... Standing stones. Those don't look like a natural form, a natural formation. I wonder if we're meant to come here later. But yeah, I just wanted to check this out because there's oh, there's a hermit. Why is there a hermit on the rock? So that's the little island. There's a little. This is a lake with an island with a pond with a rock, and I can see it on the map. That's what I wanted to look at. I'm walking on water. What? Just like. <laughs> like who? Like a pond skater. Who are you thinking? <laughs> no matter. I suppose you thought nothing else in life would surprise you, eh? Wrong. Why am I walking on water? Oh, also, let's just check. Do we just get a quest for this or something? Hmm. Something. We, got, we gained some kind of information. I'm not sure what it was. Okay, well let's talk to the hermit. Hopefully he's not going to try and kill me. Maybe we can work out why we're walking water. Hey, there's fish down there! Oh, that's cool! Okay, that's that's actually pretty goddamn cool. <gasps> oh, shit, there's a sword. That's what the glowing thing is. That's a sword on a rock. In a lake. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, hey, buddy. Hey, happen to know how the hell I can walk on that water? Naturally, I know. Since time immemorial have I dwelt in solitude on this shore, and I can testify to the extraordinary nature of the lake. What's so extraordinary about it? I mean, besides the fact that you can walk on its surface. A sword, most wondrous, lies in its depths. I watch over it. The blade may be grasped solely by one who possesses the five chivalric virtues. Folk call me a lot of things, but virtuous? I don't know. Yet I do know, for I know who you are. You are a man of honor, as many can attest. Of humble means yourself, you show generosity to others. Your valor is the stuff of legends. To acquire the sword, 
You must first convince me you are worthy. The inscriptions on these stones describe the five virtues. Voila, honor, wisdom, sympathy, and generosity. During your time in Tucson, you can prove these virtues dwell in your heart. In this world, there are many in need. They will help you prove your chivalry. Ooh, cool. Okay, so I have to prove myself virtuous. Wait for a chance to prove you're capable of compassion. Wait for a chance to prove your wisdom. And read the inscriptions on the stones. Uh, what level is this out of interest? Okay, there's no particular level to it. Apparently I've already proved my valour, generosity, and honour. Wow. So it's just wisdom and compassion I'm lacking right now. I mean, I do like me a magical sword. Let's read the inscriptions on the stone, shall we? What we got here? No man can be called good who does not share his prosperity with others. Generosity is required in for dignity in life and peace in death. Okay. Valor does not make one good, yet how many good men have you met in your life's journey who are cowards? Those who possess valor do not hesitate to stand against the majority, no matter what the consequences. Okay. There are many traits which bear witness to a man's true nature. Compassion is what separates men from beasts. Whoever feels sympathy for his fellow man will never turn a blind eye to misfortune. He will always stand in defense of the wronged. Okay, so that's something we've got to bear in mind, because we still need to prove our compassion. Uh, honor cannot be purchased. Honor can also not be sold, for its value is greater than all the treasure in the world. Yet one can lose it, and whoever does so shall have sullied his name for all eternity. A truly honorable man always stands behind his actions, faces every challenger, and refuses to lie. Wisdom is a virtue which one should strive to cultivate through one's life. For it is impossible to be so wise one cannot become even wiser. The wise know this. As we journey through life, we should seek to make wise choices. Remember, wise choices are not those which make our lives easier or simpler. Often, they make them more complicated. But they always make us better. Okay. Ooh, I've got experience for that. Okay, so I've got to prove compassion and wisdom at some point. Bearing in mind what that just told us. Okay, see, this is why you need to go exploring. This is why you need to check shit out. That was pretty cool. Uh, now, we were actually trying to get to somewhere. Why is there glowing stuff down there? What's that? Oh. Cool. I found some stuff. Nice. Uh, where was I actually trying to go? I was trying to get to the Count of Bledel, wasn't I? To actually do a quest. Uh, big Game Hunter. Let's go. I mean... Who doesn't want to get a magic sword from a lake? It's nicer if a lady gives it to you from the lake, but I'll take any magic sword I can get from a lake. That's, you know, fine by me. Ooh, there's a fisherman camping out in the middle of nowhere. Uh, given how dangerous this place seems right now, I wouldn't recommend that, but fine. He's probably going to get gored by a boar or eaten by a panther, it would be my guess. Maybe that's my compassion test. Maybe I'm meant to save the fisherman from, you know, himself. Ooh, Ch Ch Chote Cave. Where? Where's Ch Chote Cave? Oh, that's the actual marker. Okay. Not an actual cave. Interesting. Right, Count Bledel should be around here somewhere. You make mountains out of moors, I shall be better than fine. Lads, I find your concern touching, I do. Yet I've long awaited this day. So, you must forgive me, but I shall go through with it as planned. Ah, it seems my guide has arrived. Greetings. Greetings to you, White Wolf. Uh, I presume you saw my notice? <laughs> Foolish question. You're here, thus you must have seen it. Forgive me, I should introduce myself. Count Belladar, a great admirer of your deeds. Thanks. It's not something we witchers hear often. But Count, sir, do you mean to go off with just this witcher? A right hardy fellow he is, no ponce, I'm sure. But your expedition's too risky on the whole. And not taking us with you, pardon my saying it, right daft. You exaggerate, Vilma. I believe I can manage to survive half a day without someone there to wipe me arse in my stead. 
My guards lament, Witcher, but you must forgive them. Now, to get down to brass tacks, as you've no doubt gleaned from the notice, I've a rather extraordinary proposition for you. I'm a lover, Witcher, of nature. <laughs> a devotee of the wild. And Tucson is home to several species not encountered elsewhere. I'd like you to accompany me on an expedition whose aim is to... Uh, preserve them. <clears throat> ah, yes. Uh, naturally, you'll protect me should the need arise. My ever vigilant guards, see, will report any reckless behavior to my wife if I get so much as a scratch. And then woe will be me. Okay. Tell me a bit more about yourself, friend. Count Belladon? Famous poultry farmer, is that it? <coughs> well, that was my grandpapa. Dear man. But my trade is the wine trade. I import the finest vintages to Kavir, my homeland. The very reason for my frequent visits to Beauclair, uh, during which I like to uh, partake of nature, let us say. Really need a witcher to uh, partake? Got guards of your own. Take them, save some coin. I could, surely. But they too deserve a bit of rest, relaxation. Right, lads? <laughs> Besides, I've plenty of coin. Coin that needs spending. Who dares stop me? Ah. So this is about a rich man, bored stiff, seeking thrills. There's also Clarissa, who... Vilma, please. Who what? Uh, my daughter. I always return from my travels with some souvenir or another. She looks forward to them tremendously. <laughs> but uh, we did not meet to chat about my family. We must discuss our venture, must we not? Hmm. Okay, well he doesn't seem like a bad man or anything, I don't feel like this is a trap, so I'm sure we can try and help. Need some details before I can say anything. Where are we going? What am I supposed to do exactly? In the roundest terms, we shall admire the local flora and fauna. And while we do, I might preserve a thing or two. Preserve? Of this device, see? Uh, a parastisomac. It, uh, it captures, uh... Likenesses. A Paris as to what? It's like a movable megascope, capturing moments, transforming them into illusions, based upon which I then paint a painting. So, you want me with you, looking at animals and flowers and... Well, that's more or less what it amounts to, yes. Uh, except you will first have to track down the creatures I wish to capture. I know only the very approximate locations of their habitats. Well, and uh, should any trouble arise, we'll have your sword at the ready, right? So, agreed. Hmm. I actually kind of like the idea of this job. So basically, he's he's got a magic camera. That's basically what he's got. He's got a magic camera and he wants to go out and preserve, in quotation marks, flora and fauna by taking their picture and recording it for posterity. I actually kind of like that kind of thing. But let's see how much he's going to pay me for it. Pretty unusual contract. I couldn't agree more. Yes. And I'm prepared to pay a commensurately high fee. Don't mind if we actually talk about exactly how high that'll be first, do you? Why ever would I? Please, simply tell me how much you wish to receive. Hmm. I mean, he seems like he's willing to pay a lot, so let's actually... Let's ramp this up, like... Yeah, 260. Will you give me 260? Sublime! Wow. Deal. Sure. Okay, I'll take the job. Doesn't seem hard. Be glad to do something pleasant for a change. Sublime. In that case, here's your map. Before coming here, I dispatched requests to several local hunters. They located the habitats of the species of interest to me and marked out their ranges on the map. Good thinking. It'll save us some time. Won't need to track. Ready to go? I'm afraid we've to await the morn. Proper light, see? It's very important. In the meantime, be my guest at my fire, sir. In fact, I'd be delighted to hear some tales of Witcher life. Okay, looks like we're heading off at first light. The next morning. It is a pretty damn beautiful morning. Well, the wide and wild world beckons. 
Light now is perfect. And you look like a bit of a prat. But okay, let's have a look at the map. Where have we actually got to go? Uh, okay. I'm not sure that actually gives me much information. Okay, hopefully that's updated my actual map, because I don't think I can follow that. Let's see. Has that helped at all? No? Not really. Seems I got the map, so I'll lead. Oh, okay. Oh, there we go. Now it's actually updated stuff. Okay, he has a health bar, so we've Would got to keep him alive. With those guards of yours. <laughs> you jest. It's deliverance to emerge from under their wings. Believe me, they're overprotective, uh, oppressively so. I wish to admire the wildlife, preserve it, not watch them kill it in a fit of misguided fear for my life. What if the wildlife attacks us? Then we shall have no other recourse. I do not wish to be something supper for you, but as long as they remain calm, we've no need to provoke them. It's, it's of the utmost importance to me, in fact. Fair enough. Okay, this sounds like it could be quite an interesting quest to go and do, but I think we're going to do it next time. I'm going to take a break here. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed all this. Do feel free to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe, as always. And hopefully, I'm going to see you later for the next one of these. Bye.